Hello everyone, welcome back here is Van Amsen with another live coding challenge. So today we are going to tackle a popular problem from uh, LitCode, the key symbol in grammar. So let's dive into it. Uh, so the task is to build a table of n rows. And we start by writing zero in the first row. Now in every subsequent row, we replace each occurrence of zero with uh, zero one. And each occurrence of one with one zero. So given two integer and a key, we are uh, to return the uh, key uh, symbol in uh, the end row of the table. So for instance, if our n is free, so n uh, is free, and yeah, let's say key will be uh, four. So uh, the first row will be as follows. So first row will be just uh, zero, and then second row will be zero, one. And the third row will be zero, one. So yeah, we're replacing zero and one, zero. So uh, if uh, n is three, key is four, what should be the output? Output will be uh, zero. So we output uh, zero. So now, uh, yep, as we probably understand the task better with example, let's talk about the logic uh, for solving this problem. So we can observe a recursive pattern based on the properties of the uh, generated sequence, uh, which will help us solve the problem efficiently. So uh, we can solve it uh, using uh, with uh, two different approaches. So we will start with recursive approach. Uh, so which is uh, quite interesting and we will create a method named, uh, yeah, so implement the method a key a grammar inside a class called uh, solution. So yeah, let's dive into implementation. I will also write some comments. So base case, uh, so if n is one, return zero and find the length of the n minus one row. So len will be two to the power of n minus two. And now determine the half in which key falls. So if key less than length uh, if key is in first half, symbol is same as symbol at key yeah, and row and return self key grammar n minus one and key and else if key is in second half, symbol opposite to symbol at key length and minus one row. So return one minus, uh, yeah, one minus our key row grammar and minus one key length. This is uh, the first approach using uh, recursion. Uh, yep, let's run it just to see if it's working for uh, test cases. So yeah, all good. Uh, so yeah, all working uh, perfectly. So now uh, in this method, we have a base case. Uh, if n is uh, one, we return uh, simply zero. Otherwise we calculate the length of the nth uh, row and check if key is in the first half or the second half of the row and make recursive call uh, accordingly until we get uh, the uh, solution. So uh, let's uh, submit it for unsynthesis cases to yeah, verify it's working. So yeah, all working perfectly, uh, beating 97% with respect to memory. And also runtime, uh, yeah, uh, 47 milliseconds uh, between 64. So 
uh, more or less uh, runtimes uh, are consistent, but I think I have a uh, best runtime of uh, about 32 milliseconds. So yeah, uh, so let's clean it up. And now the second solution. So uh, second solution is quite uh, interesting. It's uh, a bit count approach. So now let's move uh, on more, uh, let's say optimize and concise approach using bitwise operation. So let's implement it. It will be return bin uh, key minus one count one modulo two. So yeah, just one line of code. Uh, so in this approach, we convert a uh, key minus one to its binary representation, count the number of one bits and return the parity, even or odd nature of the count. So uh, it's really a quite tricky and interesting uh, approach uh, based on mathematical properties of yeah this task. So yeah, as you can see, everything worked perfectly. So let's submit for unsynthesis cases and really concise one. Uh, and yeah, it took 44 milliseconds beating 97 uh, with respect to memory. Uh, let's uh, rerun it to double check. So yeah, probably uh, differences uh, between a uh, random because basically uh, both solution uh, yeah, should have quite uh, similar. Yeah, so they have quite similar uh, runtime, but uh, basically the second should be uh, faster. Uh, if we uh, look at, for example, uh, bigger, bigger uh, numbers, because uh, it doesn't use uh, call stack. So basically with uh, respect to memory, uh, it's uh, constant uh, memory time. Uh, and in the first approach, we had, uh, yeah, an uh, complexity. So everything uh, work uh, perfect. Uh, and yeah, so we have successfully solved key symbol in grammar problem using two different approach in Python. And uh, yeah, the recursive approach help us understand the problem better and the bit count approach provide a more uh, efficient uh, and tricky uh, solution that uh, is yeah really good to know and have in your uh, programming uh, toolkit. Uh, I will also provide uh, implementation in other languages like Rust, Go, uh, C++ and more in the description below. And make sure to like, share and subscribe to the channel for more coding adventure, tutorial, challenges, uh, machine learning, uh, yeah, and much more. And uh, drop any question or suggestion in the comment section below. And uh, if you like it, uh, please give it a thumbs up. And most importantly, keep practicing, stay motivated, happy coding, and see you next time.